here we have a first edition set of A History of English-Speaking Peoples by Winston Churchill. It was published between 1956 to 1958. My name is Pom Harrington and I'm the owner of Peter Harrington. So, why these first editions and what makes this set special? Let me show you. Um, the set, or the books, were actually published over four years. Um, three years, actually. Um, and to tell a first edition is really, very really straightforward. We're going to have a look. And the first thing we need to check is the publishing, and it should be done by Cassell, London. And very simply, I'm going to turn the page, and on the back there it says, first published, 1956. And there's no, um, no, no um, impression, any mention of second impression or third impression. So that makes the book a first edition. And that is the case in all four of these books. Now, actually, this set was published in great numbers. Um, There's something like a quarter of a million copies printed in first edition. So the next question is, why is this set special and, and different from other sets that you might see? Well, very straightforwardly, this set actually was presented to his doctor in the south of France. Uh, Winston Churchill spent a lot of time in the south of France in, in, the, in the late 50s, and uh, his physician down there was a Dr. Roberts, um, who he chose because he was an English-speaking doctor down there. And he obviously knew Dr. Roberts for a number of years, and he decided to present to him a copy of each one of these books as they came out. So we're going to open it up, and we can see here on the half title, and it says, To Dr. Roberts from Winston Churchill, Christmas 1956. Um, this makes this copy very special. Winston Churchill, I mean, he, he was very fond of signing a book, but by the time the late 50s come along, he is getting quite old and frail, and he tended only to sign to people that he knew reasonably well. And when it goes through, and you'll see um, that the relationship continues, and um, he signed a second one here to Dr. Roberts, also Christmas 56. Now, the following year, Winston actually had a stroke, and he actually really didn't sign many copies of Volume 3, and this is certainly the case with here. He wasn't very well, and so what happened, he sent out this slip here with copies of books, and it's, it's something you do see quite a lot of. People actually think this is really signed by Winston Churchill, and it wasn't. Uh, what actually is, it's, it's a facsimile, it's a printing, and he sent these compliments out to fan mail, um, which he had many thousands every year. And it says, all good wishes, Winston Churchill. So that's a printed slip. And as he was unable to sign his third volume, he sent this instead. So it's still a presentation um, and a nice thing. But the relationship continued, and we have volume four, and Winston is back. And uh, this is March 58, and he signs it again. You can see the hand's a little bit older, a little bit um, more frail. But they're still friends, and he's still looking after him down the south of France. The, the good wishes, um, obviously Winston thought very well of Dr. Roberts because there's a, this comes with a number of Christmas cards um, to Clement, from Clementine and Winston. Um, Winston Churchill actually uses his own paintings to illustrate the Christmas cards and every year he will produce a different one. And we have a few examples here. And inside we'll have a printed thank you. I'll show you over here. Uh, with Christmas thoughts and good wishes from Winston and Clementine Churchill. Um, this collection also comes with um, a rather nice typed letter signed from December 57 from Winston Churchill um, from his Hyde Park Gate um, address, um, basically uh, enclosing two letters and uh, just basically thanking him for trouble for looking after him. Um, this all comes to collection. The, the, the um, history of this set is rather sweet. Um, it walked into our shop um, by Dr. Roberts' son, who is also a doctor, and called Dr. Roberts. And uh, he explained to me when we purchased this set from him that as a young boy, when in south of France and his father looked after Winston, he was once dispatched down to Winston Churchill's house to present Mr. Churchill with a bill. And he actually remembers meeting the, the Prime Minister, or their next Prime Minister, and uh, rather fondly. So um, it's a wonderful set. It has a lovely little story to it. Um, and it makes it, therefore, very special. For details on this set and other first edition books by Winston Churchill, please check the Peter Harrington website, where you'll find our contact details, and we'll be glad to answer all your questions.